And we are back, if only for a short amount of time. Honestly, I'm probably just going to get dailies and stuff done. Since the update's about to come through. <sighs> but I just want to get all the statues I can get today. Like, as a goal. Like, because it, it is and uh, it kind of becoming a bit annoying to just have a lot of the map unlit versus lit. Because I am legitimately still just going to be... Go, doing what I am doing at the current rate I'm going. I mean, I might want to try to do more of that each day-ish. Well, again, the problem is I want to do one Genshin stream, one Honkai Star Rail stream, and then two or three Elden Ring streams, all about an hour long. At that reminder, I should probably get my phone. Wait, where's my phone? Oh, on the other side. Okay, I need to go and get that. Oh, God, that was just loud. Right. Okay, clock, timer, and eh, sure, let's do an hour. Okay. Damn, you're still loading? I don't have my headphones on, but like, come on. You can do better than that. I know you're a you're good computer, and you're a good Wi-Fi connection. There we go. Okay. Let's need to check one other thing. Hmm. Ah. Eh, it'll be okay. Okay, at here, it's on Geo. What is this about? Oh, my goddamn mastery, right? I might also want to do... Okay, so, steeple, no. This for Shangli. Uh, wait, hold on. Bennett's materials are... Hold on. Uh... Genshin. Okay, so talent upgrades is guy to resistance. Or is resistance. So, yes, he would. These. Hold on. Let me just see. Okay, so. Shangling. Oh, hello? There we go. Okay, we are back, and I've made a decision to do this domain for the sole reason of, for the sole reason of, I don't have as much talent books for Bennett, which is a character that I'm definitely going to be getting in the future, so I'm planning on getting talent books for that. Sorry for the long pause, since I was about eight or nine minutes long, so I'll definitely be removing that when the bot comes out. Or when I have the bot be released. Okay, yep, let's start this. Anyway. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Huh? huh? No, my sword. He did. He you. Boba, get them. Body and mind. He yeah. Hey. He he. Ha you. Surrender and be gentle. 
Just do two here and then one at the other since that seems like it'd be a good idea. Two in this domain, one at the other so it's equally spread out. So I do have actually a little stockpile of books from the fact that, yeah, from the fact that I explored Mondstadt and all the characters that I needed to level up use these books. So, anyway. Rain outlines your fate. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I always hate this domain. For the sole reason of you never, ever get anything. Well, it's not that you never get anything, it's just more the fact that, ah, yes, want to be constantly out of stamina? Come to this domain, you'll be too. We'll just be just fine in that regard. You've been a naughty boy. It's like, ah yes, be affected by cryo? Don't have your stamina come back anywhere near as quick. It's either your stamina or your... Hello, let's make this easy. Try not to enjoy this too much. There we go. Okay, and that's gonna be it for now. Or at least it for this domain. Since I am not doing this domain too often. Because it is infuriating. Anyway, 12 books for that, and 30. All I really need are 9, and if I really want to push it, all I need are 6, really. So I could just go over to here and just turn all the talent books that I just got, except for... Uh, what is it? Well, I'm pretty sure the amount that I have is divisible by 3. Yes, there's Geoculus. Let's see, so... Alright, seven. That'd be three. So, yeah. I'll just do seven. Okay, that's interesting. And then with this, I now have 19 of those, and almost enough to get a whole other set of... Uh, that. The next one is going to be this domain because I'm able to get a whole load well, getting EXP, not EXP books, but talent books for Zhang Ling because I get, oh wait, Twitch chat. Okay, and then, there we go. Okay, let's hope I didn't miss anyone's messages. Start. Start. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, it's just a whole bunch of... Yep. It's, I mean, genuinely, Lee Sinching Cho is always a pretty good combination just based on the fact that... Ah, yes! Normal attacks trigger Shing Cho's... Oh, well, already. Anyway. No. Nope. Come on. There we go. Let's get your ult. Not quite. How that is. Come on. Let me weave you That's that. Almost done. And that's more energy towards your next burst. Minute total. And actually, I think that's going to be it for the domain since we need to double and 
with the rest into more, I think? Seven, five. I have so many of the, those books. I might just turn them into the, the other ones then. Okay, and let's talent. Boba. Oh, yeah, I have plenty enough. Why, well, hey, sure. Hey, you want to go outside? No, you want food. Okay, you're getting food from your dual pole. Okay. And once I get this done... I'm just going to keep a stockpile of just enough to do, I think, two or three skills. Honestly, two, since the only other character that I think that I'd be able to get would... Actually, why not? I can just do all six. Do all six. Have a fun time. Oh, I got one. Eh, it's okay. Either way. Get Shangling. Talents. Globa. Level you up. Yep. Oh. Interesting challenge. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah. I mean, currently I'm... I'm thinking about... Hold on. I think I'm about three months into the this account. Yeah, I'm about three months into this account. Give or take a week, I think. But currently I'm just doing all the daily stuff that it, I be usually doing regardless of recording or at least streaming this or not. And besides that, I'm probably going to be moving on to... Since I do also have an, a Honkai Star Rail account that's doing the same kind of challenge, just because why not just do this challenge on both of them? Besides that, no, my sword. I'm current. Besides that, I don't really have. Oh, come on. And eviscerate them. Thank you. Oh, you're lucky. And these two. That's not mob drop. Uh, anything else? Oh, two mob drops up here. Uh, and some over here as well. Okay. Is I mean, I know also if you're going to be saying something about just doing this, uh... I just use this as a good guy for what I should try to be doing for things so that I'm not just over investing resin into some things rather into just ley lines or domains versus others considering that I mean I have nearly t I have 11.3 million mora and 30,000 primos that's not even taking into account the fact that the Commissions for the day haven't been done yet, which that's gonna be exploration done besides that You're in for a little shock. <laughs> I'm Rain outlines your fate. Besides Rain. that I'm Oh wait, hold on, what am I doing? I could be doing... Well, I have to do that one more time, then. I could just do the condensed resin. I basically just got the ability to do condensed resin, I think... Like, three days ago, maybe? And I keep on forgetting about it, because I've pretty much just been using the regular resin for so long. On the sides of my... Uh, yeah, I mean, I do, I don't have, I mean, I am going to admit, I've definitely had days where I've literally played both of them running at the same time, and by playing, I just mean turn auto battle on for grinding things while I'm just doing daily, or at least daily stuff I'm going to be doing regardless, so you're not alone in that. But, Oh wait, it's lagging so badly. It's made the enemies immortal. But it should be coming back. 
Come on. Oh my god, it is lagging so badly. Is the stream coming through okay? Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely a thing. There we go. There we go. Took, I think, a full 30 seconds just to get that all to go through. Yeah, since I, I always get a bit concerned since I don't know if it's client side for the game or just Wi-Fi. Since, I mean, already with comments, what I'm using currently to monitor the comments, it or not comments, but the chat, it does take like 10 seconds before the message shows up, but the notification comes through as soon as a comment is made. So that's always a weird thing. Okay. Yep, grab one of these. Just so I can get through this. Through. Press the resin just a bit faster. But yeah, mobile Twitch is delay. Yeah. But I don't even think it's something like a mobile Twitch. Not even a mobile Twitch, but... Actually, I'm not really sure. Since I'm doing it, I'm streaming through OBS. And I'm basically having a third-party program that has... Oh, it's... Come a little closer. Well, pretty much I'm just having, I think, a third-party program, just... Come on. I mean, okay, just kind of repeating myself, but I have a program... But I got pretty much just have it so that while I'm playing the game I have a little overlay. It doesn't display on stream since I'm using display capture. But it's pretty much right hold on. It's pretty much right here where it is. But besides that okay, so actually hold on, what do I did that? Pretty sure I complete all of this. Yes, I did. Uh, got test run done. I haven't really been there. I could... Honestly, doing these two would probably be a good thing. So I'm just going to start to get that out of the way. And this is also going to do daily commissions, or at least contribute to daily commissions. In terms of the... I forget what it's called, the oh, wrong one. Uh, commissions, the encounter points. Be weird to call it encounter points, but eh. But either way, unlocking fishing and Children, come, come. <laughs> and, and the teapot's gonna help you out a decent chunk. Just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, that's nice. Anyway. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Yep. Oh no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. Hmm. A gift? I only did as I should. <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly <clears throat> so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. Yeah, that'd be true. That simply won't do. Especially since, I imagine, you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Uh, you don't know half of it, especially with meta-knowledge of me playing- Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Okay, uh, what's subspace creation? Pocket dimensions. Oh, 
Did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks mm. once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. Wait, were you just beasts and then you decided then you got power just handed down to you? I will not go into too much detail. But subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. Yep. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket, you say? So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, uh. indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. Yeah, and that's... That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Oh, and that's Gunion Stone Forest or huh? the islands. But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. What are the missing materials? That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what are those, if I might ask? Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. Mm. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Even more difficult to find is Maragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. Mm. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Mm. <sighs> Goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Who is this child? Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an Adeptus too, right? Eh, kind of. Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. She counts? How come there are so many Adepti in Leo Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it! <laughs> maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. Yeah, and we have seen the... Is the character going to pan just... How long is it going to pan over for? That far, okay. I mean, we've seen the whole thing, a whole debacle of the two disappointing Adeptus forms for Lantern, right? And if they ever become playable characters, I want them to get goddamn model updates. And that's if they become playable characters. I'm back, Granny. Hello, Yanfei. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Uh, not in this, not in this version of this world, no. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yanfei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yenfei, I believe you already heard of the Traveler and his traveling companion. Yep. Wait, do all the glowy bits pulse when the Traveler has his burst ready? Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. <clears throat> you became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. 
After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui, before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. A shame? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Ah, uh, right, because you're a lawyer. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. I don't really call being wanted by the entire government embarrassing as it is annoying. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. And there's a little bit of scales here, a little bit of scales here. That's your pirate. Wait, it's not smooth. It's actually like a cut, like diamond or crystal, isn't it? If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first time customers. And are, are these like actual horns or are they just like decoration? All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. Mm. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adeptus? Paima was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. Well, I mean, because she's only half adeptus and half human. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. Eh. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. Mm. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Uh, okay. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. Yeah. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Ah. Uh -huh. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Lyra greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I feel like the glow from this is almost messing up just the image on the screen. I know, Grant. Almost. You've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go. But there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Uh, Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Yeah. Whoa, that's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Uh, legal cases. Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Yep. Krussel. A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves... All of them had to do with rare ores. Ah. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. Mm. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Okay, it's interesting that your hair goes from, like, a soft, like, salmon, pinkish, to, like, white then the horn, then yellow. Why yellow, though? Oh, Look, I'm with wanna you. Join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. I mean, you're, you're the lawyer here, so yeah. I'm not too concerned. I accept this imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. I mean, she's less an adept, it's more like a regular person that's just gonna live for centuries, so... <laughs> <clears throat> than usual while we're with her. Not, I mean, not really, unless we're not actively trying to commit crimes against the law or crimes against Leeway, we should be fine. Which is, yeah, 
Hold on, teleport. I should also probably just have a day where I get all as many of the quests I can done. Hello. Hello, Crossel. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? Hello, Pro Z D. You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, um, well, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. That's good news. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize. I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Xiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Okay. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? Uh. No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. The contract uh. makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. Uh. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Samaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Ms. Zhu Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. Uh, no ambiguities there. Guaranteed genuine? With ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false? Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Yep. Of course. This way both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. That's In good. In that case, might you know where Miss Your Chow lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Yep. Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. Can't you just give us the address? Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Yeah. It is a bit weird how there's never, like, lines defining our nose. It's just shadow, so it just ends up looking like just a random hole on, on like, characters' faces. It's supposed to be a softer art style, I guess. How far up is it? Ah, uh, not too bad. Not enough to teleport to. Oh shit, wait. Okay, I am back. Dog almost went out the front door. But I didn't, thankfully. Anyway, uh. Why are you to rip? Ah, yes, to get to there, you must go basically at multiple different. Oh, wait, hold on, there's books that I could take. On. There's equilibrium. There's another book. There you are. Just because I'm pretty sure you get an achievement for collecting all whole sets of books, and I maybe want to get to that. Hello, Miss. Whatever shall I do? Uh, excuse me. Are you Xin Kuo? Yes, Kuo? that's me. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. How do you do, Miss Your Chow? Sure, we understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? Sure. The hairpins? I can't lend them to you right now. I... I've lost them. Uh. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. Uh. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value... There's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. Why did you need them in the first place? I, my family is in the ore business, too. But business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We mm. now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around. So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. Ah. Uh. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's uh, what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me. Uh, now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? Uh, <gasps> Why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Maybe because this is the part where we say we can help? Would you really? 
I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. You sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild to do that, but wouldn't that just basically... I mean, if the original guy just went to check to see if there's an, a missing item thing from that, I, I'd imagine he'd immediately come knocking. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Mr. Chow, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. Yep. Let me see. Hmm. That's right! Yansei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jiu Chow somehow. That would be a little unfair to Crossel, but I also know that Crossel gave fake gems by the fact True. that... Though surely there must be a win-win solution. Yes, and this quest does in fact end in a win-win solution, so he doesn't have to pay ten times the amount. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossel the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Yep. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. You know, the funny fact is that I might just be able to pay with the amount of more that I have since I have almost 12 million. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Mm. Even higher? Oh no. Uh-oh. Jitchow looks like she's about to faint. Mm. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Yep. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the jadeite is genuine or not? I mean, considering that we're basically talking about ore or minerals that's the equivalent of almost practically uranium, it, it's not going to be too hard to disprove. Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the jadeite is genuine, would there? Uh, seems right. Please. Please. Uh, again. Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation per the contract. Okay, that was not that, that bad, actually. Anyway, it, it, it's such a huge sum of money, though. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Uh. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then negotiate the amount of compensation da, 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 da. yes legally speaking it seems this is the most sensible course of action but before that i have some questions about the hairpins yep so hold on a moment mr chow when you first touched the hairpins what did you feel what yep. did i feel well i remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch like the finest quality jade. Mm -hmm. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. Yep. Just so happens to be right here. Not too hard to just get back to here. Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao and Toe, too, I see. How are the hairpins? Hmm. Uh. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? Quiet, but again, they were fake, so... Remember, you might have to pay up ten times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Truly, I am. Mora, <laughs> do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I, I just don't... <sighs> forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. Yep. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again, yep. it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jadei inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Yep. Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. Yep, and already with that, it sounds like you're realizing that she's probably going to find out, or there's a chance, so... Right. Understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. I, uh, she gets the point. She already knew, knows what she's going to have to deal with. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Uh. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. Yep. It's not convenient to speak here, so... Let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. Which is the... What, third round knockout? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. Yep. Here we are. Miss Yunfei, what is this about? Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? No. No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. It's a bit weird how these don't connect, but that's probably because boats pass through there. Not Smaragdus, not Smaragdus Jadeite? Really? What do you mean? Are you implying that you already sneaked off and found them? No, I mean, she's about to say that it's basically mystical uranium that was supposed to be in there. And that if she, if Miss Ching, I forget what her name was, but if she had come into contact and for as long as she did, she did immediately, she would have definitely gotten radiation poisoning by then. Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. Yep. I don't know if Granny told you this. But Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. If That's mere true. mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Yep. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? Mm. No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Yep. Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have yep. deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Paimon, he can literally just throw it away and recover it if he needs to. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. A very vivid description. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Probably. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. Yep. Well then... Since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, yeah. that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Yeah. Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. If I had one more for every time I hear the word, one more for every time I hear the word contract. Yunfei is even more concerned with the 
him than a certain someone else we know. Well, I mean, considering she's literally a lawyer, and if she messes up a contract, she has to be held under the law even worse. Any of your clients, it makes sense. So, yeah. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written... Any were commissioned yeah. but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. Yep. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. Okay. And I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. Huh. So many versions of proof of identity. <sighs> Such an ordeal. All right, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Yeah. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Need me to do anything? Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve. Once we've got some things squared away. Yep. I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. I mean, we're about to head over to Baiju and then the, the Jade Cutter who's literally like 20 feet away. Miss Yuffie, but... I have to ask. Why are you helping me? Because, mm. as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo energy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Yep. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Yep. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. Yes, you should come to America. You die of a heart attack from being so livid. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm. Where can we find someone who processes ore? Literally like 15 meters away. Ha! Ah, I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional Hi. when it comes to working with stone and ore. Yep. If Mr. Crossell had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Yeah, literally right there. Anyway, my grandma just got up. It's nice at 4.30. Hello, sir. Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to... Th oh, it, it, it's you, Miss Yenfei. Is, is, is something the matter? You've had to deal with legal issues before, I see. Sh surely not more spurious claims that that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win. Oh, I swear on all that is sacred. No. No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snezhnine merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any chance? A Snezhnine merchant named Crossel, you say? Yep. Mm, I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. Okay. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. Okay. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. Okay. Hmm. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? Uh, why, yes. It was my first time encountering this ore, after all. So I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. They're right over there. And Thank you, yep. sir. We'll take a look at them. Yep. I didn't even show up on elemental, uh, elemental site like those do, so... Don't deceive me. The cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. Smaragdus nephrite? Yes. It's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. 
It's used to make jewelry all the time. Mm. I've heard it said that Smaragdus Nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. A thin mm. layer of separation, huh? If you mm. must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus Nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore, containing no elemental energy whatsoever. Yep. Is that so? Well, we might as well give elemental sight a shot. Yep. So, did you find anything? Not a trace. So they really are different. But wait, how come Jichou was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's pretty awesome. I mean, she is pretty much a jeweler who would inevitably have encountered this kind of ore and stone. Probably dozens upon, actually probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of There's times. There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. Why couldn't she to she, uh, she to tell these them apart? These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There mm. may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. Mm. And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. All right, mm. let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. Okay. But, never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossell... Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. Yep. Hello. Hello. Miss Yenfei? Might I be so bold as to inquire? Um, if yep. you could just confirm for me once more, sir. Mr. Crossell did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here, it says quite clearly, uh, one chunk Smaragdus Jadeite, uncut. Yep. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and these stone shavings? Yep. Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Yep. Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign here on this affidavit. Affidavit. This document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, ore that Mr. Crossell brought to your store. Please read it carefully. Yep. Mm, yes, I see. I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yenfei, but might I know the nature of the incident on this occasion? I, you know, uh, protection claim. I wouldn't say there's been an incident, just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. I'll take this yep. hard evidence to back us up. On yep. the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. Yep. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewelsmith. Let me think. Yep. Jewelry. Jewelry. Hmm. Nope. Aha! Got it! Zinxie. She often helps people to find a jewelsmith. Let's go pay her a visit. Yep, the one that I've probably it. gone to with the Geo Sigil so, so many. many people? She's probably had to do, deal with a legal case with every single person in Liyue at this point. Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. As yeah. you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. And contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. Yep. But the amendments made by the Tianchuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. Yeah, and usually it's like that to make sure there aren't any forms of exploits or loopholes, but in all accounts, they get formed anyway, As so... Such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. Yep. So you help them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? Yeah. Yes, well, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. Mm -hmm. You memorized them? Yep. <laughs> you sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Is this how adept I could become so adept at everything? Just living long enough to do this bullshit? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Okay. Again with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for Sing Si. Yep. Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, this is literally just going to be to the ore shop that I generally go to. Do I have a lot of... Oh, I do have a decent chunk, so I might actually just come over here to get some of the... 
I don't get why sometimes it just guides me to go through there, 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 instead of just there. Just that way. Probably because they're just invisible, like, weird things that happen, but I, I, I'm not really a coder. Oh, it's Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time uh, have no. no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Yep. Uh, little smiley face pattern on your like graduation cap thing. I don't. It's not a graduation cap. I know that. It's just like something different. But has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? Crossel. Yep. Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called Smaragdus Jadeite. Mm. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. Okay. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Uh doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Well, except the fact that he definitely said that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. And the fact that the hairpins were definitely supposed to be Smaragdus Jadeite. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yep. Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yep. Mr. Crosel wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. Okay. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself. The item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. Okay, that's the helpful. The gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the Ministry on it. Yep. Thank you, Sinksy. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Huh. Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Not trouble so much, Nothing just... You need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Yep. Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? It's kind of just in the nature of legal consultancy. Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Baiju? A weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Oh, because reasons. only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Eh, yeah. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands, we can wrap this case up. Okay. I mean... I mean, the whole thing is kind of annoying and funny since, like... I guess for the end of this quest is that both of them do technically win with the ordeal with a uh, person who lost the pins to basically have their ore business be at reduced prices for Crossel for the simple fact that, yeah, we I did give you fake ones and I don't want to pay it, but no, not that. I'm a bit brain dead at the moment, so I'll just continue on with the quest. Hello. Actually, wait, hold on. Hello. Yes, I want to buy some herbs since you got local teas. Violet grass. Flaming sour flame. Oh, yeah. Get all these. I guess why not? 33. Get 10 of those. Shing. Get 10 of those as well. Actually, I'm just going to buy you out, really, since. Lots of stuff. Anyway, hello, buys you. My, my, to what do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi-Chi, she's out gathering herbs. Eh, that's not what we're here for. And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well, now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Hello, little Some baby snake. Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No. no, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. <laughs> Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. 
of a specific the thing. Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Okay. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. Okay. Oh. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, yeah. I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? That would be correct. That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. Yeah. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. Oh, and if you give evidence for that, since we're probably talking but about the same person. after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. Uh. I wonder, Miss Yenfei. If your pressing business might be related to this Snezhnayan merchant? Almost so. Is that a coat? That does not work as a coat. That's just two halves of a coat that's only being held up by this. And like, maybe... Fuck, I forget the name of the snake. Ah, the snake. You needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baiju. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. Yep. Come on. You're too kind. Take care now. Yep. Okay. Bite you guys. It's weird, is that He's not really weird. He's just kind of a recluse doctor. That, that's not really weird to me. So. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Yes. Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we have the. Uh yeah, sorry for interrupting you, but. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yep. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Yep. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Yep. Of course. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract. You Mr. Crossell, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Yep. Sure. Wait, what? Me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. No. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin Phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Yeah. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Yeah, material evidence. What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this. Uh -huh. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. Oh, yes, right here. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, please produce the evidence in question. Anyway, I'm going to show the evidence for the Jade Mystery. This is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Shita. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? Oh. In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the nephrite, he returned the valuable jadeite core to me, and some nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Mm. Th that's an unsubstantiated belief! Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him out of hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Yeah, here's the second piece. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the ministry I'm, seal. I'm doing all. okay. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more belligerent by the second. It's fine, we have a third. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal are... after all. 
Of course I'm right. Sure, I mean, I watch anime from time to time. My story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, oh, would you do it. the honors? Here's... This shall serve as decisive proof of... Uh, what's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow Spray. within the mountains and will bring and disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less it's serious taking a cases, while. Hold on. cause a mild malady, while in right. serious Currently cases, following any? the patient may uh, suffer a dramatic change of personality and I mean, fall seriously ill. Free runs beyond, journey, Mr. Free Russell, beyond Journey's End is one I'm keeping up with. Properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? Yeah. I... I had no idea. No idea, you say? Yep. Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item... Yep. I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, hmm. I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Yep. Don't worry, Mr. Crossell. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I yep. trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait, wait! I... I knew. Oh, okay. so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossell. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, uh, I... <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually aren't actually inlaid with genuine smaragdus jadeite yep. is that what you were about to say you do understand mr crossell hmm. that this means that you will have to pay mr chow 10 times uh, the original price no i haven't mr crossell your answer please my client and i are waiting i i i can't be seriously intimidating right now it's like she's a different person. Again, that's legal consultancy for you. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had inlaid on those hairpins was... was Maragdus Nephrite. Yep. But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Maragdus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. Yep. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days... I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Uh, well, the last one that I watched box. was Free Run, just by the fact that the new episode came out today. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Chichao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. So why did she charge Chichao at such an extraordinary rental price? Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much? I mean, what you're about to say is to make back the money. I didn't want to either. But when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. Yep. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would Is be over. Is there right. a reason why Let's you're asking so many right questions? Or... Any of this has on your transaction with my Since client. that's starting to get According to, to contract, information that I don't Jones want to say. the original price in Mora, and that is final. Ten, ten times. Passing, just passing time. Oh, okay, I mean, like I don't really want to say where I'm from, so. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Um, yep. there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Eh. Well, let me Even just turn this on auto again. Jaded on those hairpins was fake. I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Uh, Ms. Jichou, you... However, Mr. Crossell, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? But I... 
All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Yep. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn this Maragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever, it'll do. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yenfei. When you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Okay. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossell come to an understanding? Uh, hmm? Yes. Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossell, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossell, I'd like to talk business for a second, if I may. Yep. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. I, uh, let me think for a moment. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants, too. Hmm. All's well that ends well, eh? Yep. Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. Yeah, and also but technically legal extortion. The solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. Eh. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. Can't say I've ever met an adeptus like you before. An adeptus? Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Yep. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. And the title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. Yep. In any case, don't you think that the Liyue Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs Adeptal Powers? I mean, Adeptal Powers does does kind of ensure that you're going to be living for centuries and that you're guaranteed to have a significantly longer and better life, so... Kind of depends. I can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think there's more than just reason involved here. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. Uh, anyway, up to... Yeah, I'll just teleport to here so I can just hop down to there. Then once I get the... Oh, well, Stormy out. Perfect weather for sipping a cup of tea while gazing out the window. Okay, then once I get this stream done, I'm going to be doing a Honkai Star Rail stream. And probably just a few instances of Elden Ring streams. Ah, come on. We're right here. There you are. Ah, you've returned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? We were, thanks to Yanfei. Good, good. Then we have all oh, the materials we need. Yep. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Yep. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. Yep. I'm off, then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I am kind of surprised that we never got Yanfei involved in Fontaine's story at all. Do you seem like you'd fit right into that, since it's legal? It's a legal case for the first part of it, and you're a lawyer, so. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts too. Yeah, and also this line kind of says that as what. Am I gonna have to start that conversation over? Damn, I don't know why I'm having connection. Oh, uh, why am I up here? Well, again, there's also the annoying part of I have both the game downloaded and it has to run through a server. So pretty much everything that I have to do almost has... 
we go. I gotta land right on, right on your table. Ah, you've returned. Yep. Well, oh, you. I'm off then. Bye. Yep, come on. Oh yes, traveler. Make sure you, I've been looking. Come now, okay. child. Yep, there we go. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Hmm? No. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Yep. <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day. A truly unique adeptus. Ah, indeed she is. Liu has changed, and the adepti must also learn to change. Yep. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah. Yep. Liyue is not the same place I once knew. Granny. All right then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. That would be correct. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? How long does it take? <laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Okay. Madam Ping begins to construct the gift. Here it is. There we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. Yep. Oh my god, it's a written pun. Serenity. Serenity. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen. I mean, considering it's levitating, I don't think it's that hard to not. blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Thanks, Granny. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? I mean, how we used her teapot, so... Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. Okay. And that is Serenity Pot Unlocked. And then the only thing that's left would be for this to get done. And if I'm not mistaken, that's all the commissions done as well. And hold on, what is part two? There's this. Uh, this two. Well, hold on. No, let me just do that. First, so I, then I can use this. Enter the teapot. Okay, Emerald Peak, Cool Isle, or Floating Abode. I've done that. Wait, hold on. Can I just press this? I've done this. I've done this definitely. I think this is usually the first one I go with. So, why not this one? Floating Abode. Uh, actually, no, Cool Isle is the one that seems nicest to me. And then the other three, which are obtained via the sigil things. Like the sigil trees, I guess. Or the tree, the tree, and then the fountain. Wow. This teapot seems even bigger inside than Madame Ping's. There's even a great big house in the middle, too. I mean, that's because quite literally, this is... Made specifically for us to Good. live in it constantly. But there's just a whole load of nothing around it. Go dig a barrel to live in for now, I guess. Hey! There's a perfectly good house right over there! Why should Paimon have to live in a hole in the ground? Eh, no reason. Still, why is it so empty here apart from that house? Because we haven't done anything yet. What is that? The house and then the helper that she said we had. Ah, uh, yes. And to here to get this, this, and this. Hello. Well, it seems that we have a visitor. You it's a huge finch! Oh, I thought you were a penguin. Oh. I think I forget that every time. Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Um, hang on a moment. Why 
What am I supposed to be called again? Mm. Oh, call me. I suppose you may call me Tubby. Hello, Tubby. You certainly look the part. So you're the little helper, Madam Ping mentioned? Yep. Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. Yep. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Which is Your nice. Your journey may be far from over. But at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. So, what's Teapot Spirit exactly? Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Mm -hmm. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may yep. consider me a butler, if you will. Okay. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Yep. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. Yep. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Okay. Oh, oh I did so weird just to have a constantly surprised expression on your face, but... Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Yeah. Yes, okay. these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. I already used them. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Yeah. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this... Wow! Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? No, it's not that big. Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said... That even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. Yeah. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A yeah. golden eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders who could that be? Probably Zhang Li, or the I other person. I remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. How very strange. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. Yep. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. Well. Anyway. Ah, uh, yes, and then, hold on, Pearl Isle. Oh, really? Nothing else? Okay, so... I'm right here. So, hold on, I'm... Okay, so if I'm right here, it'd probably be nicer to have the built... Can this not just be such awkward damn controls? Probably be... Best right around here. Yeah, that'd be good. Firm. All oh, right, we have this, which is right a Zhang Li statue. Yep, Zhang Li statue. So let's have you be right over here. Oh, hold on. okay, that should be good. Building. Ah, uh, blacksmith area. Uh, that could just be put over here. Yeah, that'd be good. Landform. Oh, right, a bunch of trees. Uh, let's have the trees be... Uh, hold on. Uh, no. Hold on. I keep on thinking. Okay, so which would be better? Like, you know, it'd be probably better to have it 
this way. That's still obscuring it. Oh, let's do this one. There we go. And having you put probably about here. Okay, come on. Okay, and we are back. Okay, now to move. Shade right about here. Yep. All right, bamboo. Should probably be nicer as a little bit to add. Good way to add green into here. Yep, a little bit. Good way to add a little bit of green to this whole thing. Ah, yes, and, uh... God, here's all the stuff that I've... Main building, which, I mean... Okay, let's have some of the event try. Jesus Christ, this thing is massive. Anyway, uh, hold on. Go just as Matt. No, actually, not anywhere near. Okay, let's have a lot of these event things be right next to each other. Not that close by to. He oh my god, that is so small. Might be a good idea to kind of have it be. Yeah, right here is a good place. And honestly, I uh, hear. Let's have a lot of the little guys right over here, and then pair. There we go. And companion. Yeah, that should be good. Save, and get out. Yep. And... Done. One pretty much. And that's also one and two. What else do I disclaim? All oh, right, okay. And what about this? This is for ah. Hello, Tubby. Ah, you arrived quickly. Good, good. What's up? I asked to come here so I could give you a little gift. I don't know if I told you before, but these abodes are private space created by the Adepti for themselves. Most Adepti will use certain methods to seal their abode away from the rest of the world to ensure its purity and avoid being disturbed. Afterwards, Adepti could create a Realm Dispatch for those they wish to invite to their abode. This Realm Dispatch bears signatures of the abode's Adeptal energy and that of the Adeptus themselves. As such, anyone who has this dispatch can enter and exit the abode freely. Before, this abode was an incomplete embryonic state. Those whom you invite into this world have only been able to exit and enter together with you, rather than remain for long periods. But now, I'll take this realm dispatch that I've created for you and hold it in your hand. Tightly now. I thought it needed some of my energies. Don't worry, you'll only need to hold this dispatch and it will draw some of your energy out and into it. Ah, uh, yes. I heard Ping mention to you that we have friends in a great many places. As such, I suspect that you were to distribute one Dispatch to each one of them. We would be making dispatches for a long time. As such, I have made some modifications to this dispatch. All you need to do is to have the palm of, your, the, palm of the person you'd like to, in, to invite lightly with the dispatch, and your energy signature will remain on them, allowing it to enter and leave with your own ease. Huh. Almost like marking, isn't it? Huh. Well, sort of. But why did you have to put it so weirdly? 
Well, here's the realm dispatch. Go forth and invite whoever you wish. Seems this place shall be quite li become lively quite soon. Yeah. And that also be companions. Okay, landform thieves. Honestly, I could also probably just use these as like background. Bro Hold on, it'd probably be better to from back here confirm. Oh, and confirm and and about here confirm. Can you? Oh, it literally displays it. Okay, so characters probably not going to be using all that much. One. Confirm. Can I, oh, I can only keep one. Eh, well, that should be good. Yep. Anyway. Maybe you're not used to the place at the moment. But once you've materialized enough rooms and furniture through subspace creation, it will feel just like home. Either way, I'm doing I'm doing as best I can. Just rank, that, rank bonus, claim rewards. Also that, and oh right, I'm gonna have to do the trust rank grind, aren't I? Oh no, create furnishing. Um, Dear. Learn. Okay. Oh, I only have one. Oh, I only have one slot? Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to do that. That goes against the five bit. I'll create one of you. And I'll just leave that to cook. I'll just leave that to cook. Uh, Realm Depot? Let's see what's here. Twins, which is the realm. Oh, these are well, and eh, not too good actually. They're kind of redundant after a while. And all of the things, all of the possible flora, fauna, all, all the flora I can ever want. Either way, uh, let's get the small start. Oh my god, already. If you ever have any questions. Yeah. Let's start the small amount of what I can do to anyway, obtain one hundred realm currency. Enter the mansion, process one die, make one piece of fabric. Big furniture, trace two. Okay. Maybe Anyway, uh create furnishing. Die well actually I'll do one. Just ten. Uh, I'll do one, one, and that should already be another two just off of that alone. Yep, and that's one, two. The only other things is well, this one. Then it's okay, let's get into the mansion. Enter mansion. Yep. That's another thing. Enter the mansion. And this, which is furnishing set, blueprints, and a whole bunch of other things. Let's see what I can do to decorate in here. Doors, staircase, good. Large furnishing. I have a table. Wait, hold on. Indoor set? Oh, I can actually have an indoor. Can I adjust the. Okay. So are you coming? It's the door. That's a back door. Hold on. How? Well, oh, that's starting to get too far. So there we go. That should be good. All right. Wall decor. Ah, uh, a painting. Oh, it's oh, it's not actually a painting; it's an image. Yeah, that should be good. Small furnishings. What the hell is? Oh, it's all from the movie event. Let's see. 
Yep. Alright, ornaments. This, which... Let's just have a little fontaine corner. Yep, and that should be good. Saved. Yep. And that's most of the... Okay, so now I'm gonna leave. It is going to be a grind to get to... Oh, what is it? It's kind of cool just when I immediately leave. I have the blacksmith station and then two glowing things just right there. Maybe you're not... Anyway, uh, trust strength. Let's check. That. Well, no, not that. Cause it's this one. Uh, 12 per hour, 3 per hour. 3,000. Next one is 4,500. Uh, hold on. How much is... 300 current accumulation rate 12 hold on uh all right 300 divided by 12 is 25 hours <laughs> so full blown it is very possible to get all of what i need to do if anyway you ever... thank you glad to get this started now yeah and I'm gonna go back to Mondstadt for claiming daily commissions and exped. Oh no, I don't want that. Leave the pan. Go to the waypoint. Teleport with the waypoint. Now with this, I need to do chores in my front yard, and then I'll be heading on to a Honkai Star Rail stream. But so oh wait, oh, uh, right, that's to claim the rewards, not actually to to go to here to claim, but not to get anything from... To help check on this faith... What? Oh, exploding population. Okay, that that, that fishing? I'm not sure what I... I'm not sure I understand. It's the fishing to uh, speak of? Oh, fishing association. Sounds like they're in business cash to elicit faith. Blah, blah. No time to lose. Let's check this out. I am just here to get the dailies. Add astro and the expedition. And... No weeklies. Oh. Oh wait, that was supposed to also help me get... <laughs> okay, the fact that I didn't even need that to reach the max level battle pass kind of shows you how easy it is to max this out. Even without having everything I want. The only thing that I'm missing is create 10 furnishings, do this, and do this. I haven't, haven't done this yet, but either way, pretty close. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's only a max amount of stuff you can get from those. But either way... Anyway, thank you to anyone who's watching on YouTube. Thank you to May Sevenari and Mariah underscore Greek underscore for dropping in and chatting for a while, even if it was for a little bit. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whichever suits you best. Thank you and goodbye.